All right, class, we're here. A couple more days, and we're done. So here is the last part. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write an equation based out of this word problem, okay? So the word problem is Jerry found two baseballs. Every day he would find three more. So what we need to do is we find a, got to find the starting point, and that should be, what did he start with? He found two baseballs. All right, so he has two baseballs. So that's positive two, okay? And then three more, basically every day. So that's your growth. Every day, there's three more. So 3x. So y is equal to 3x. Got it? Pretty easy, right? So now to graph, I need my starting point. My starting point is 2. My starting point is 2. Positive 2. So here is my positive 2. Okay. So my starting point is 2. 2 what? 2 baseballs. So all these numbers here are the number of baseballs. Number of baseballs. Okay, so now here, the three, we're, we started with three, so I'm, I need to move. I need to start graphing. So that's where we go with three is the delta, which is the change of y. How many are we going to move in the y's, and how many are we going to move in the x's? So it's three. Three what? Three baseballs for every day, so one day, so three over one. So basically, going through the y-axis, it's up because it's positive, and to the right because it's positive. So here we go. One, two, three for every one. One, two, three for every one. One, two, three for every one. So that is my graph, okay? My graph. So I'm going to graph it. Oops, sorry, it might be a little crooked. So number of baseballs, okay, number of baseballs, and then here is what? Three baseballs for every day. So my X is going to be number of uh, days, okay, number of baseballs, number of days. And that is your equation, that is your graph, and these are the labels for the X and Y axes. All right, that's it. The next one, Rebecca. Rebecca had 10 t-shirts. She gave five every week to her friends. She gave five every week. So that's your M. Five every week. Five every week. That's what's changing from the 10. So where do we start off with? 10. Okay. So 10 we start off with. That's your B. All right. And then what happens? After that, what do we get? We got to look for what? Yes. Um, some more stuff. So, so the M. So the 10 is right here. The 10 is your right here. 10. So here you go, the 10. So then your M is five every week. So five, she gave. So that's a negative. So y is equal to negative five x plus 10. Okay. So here you have your plus 10. And they're giving away five every week. Five every week. So we got negative five. So I'm going to have my starting point, which is 10. 10 what? So these are your 10 t-shirts. I have 9 here. So number of t-shirts. Number of t-shirts. And now go ahead and let's, uh, let's move. Let's find your slope. So let's write M, change of Y, change of X, negative 5 for every what? For every week every week so now the five it's negative so it's going to go down and then the y is going to go to the right so five every week 
one, two, three, four, five, and then one. One, two, three, four, five, and then another one. All right, so that is my graph. That's it. We're done. That's your graph. Look at it. That's it. You'll have a quiz tomorrow. All right? Take care. Adios. This is going to be part of your final. Adios.